It might sound like science fiction, but being able to accurately predict and offer customised treatment for disease based on an individual's genetic makeup, plus social and environmental factors, is well within the reach of modern science. We humans are the best information processing machines, uh, recognizing images, recognizing smell, uh, navigating, uh, adapting, learning languages, uh, and uh, doing a lot, of, a lot of things that we enjoy. Uh, so, therefore, the brain is, is the best uh, inspiration for computational models that can do similar things, like uh, prediction, uh, classification, recognition, uh, navigation, control, etc. We, we consider the brain the, the ultimate uh, inspiration, and I would say the more ultimate target, because all these models should also be used to better understand the human brain, and it is still not quite understood. One application of artificial neural networks that will affect us all is personalised modelling or personalised medicine. It lets us predict the outcomes of diagnosing and treating each person's specific health woes to achieve the best possible result. The current state of art uh, in medicine is uh, uh, global models are developed based on uh, uh, lots of data. And these models are either regression models or there are some neural network models, but they are developed on, from all, all the available data and they are applicable or they are applied to every, everybody. So everybody in the world at any time uh, will be fit into this model for the prediction of the outcome of disease or the treatment, etc. And one model doesn't fit all. These global models are proved to work only be accurate only for 70% of the whole population because they are not tuned to individual. Just the, the other way around, the individual is met into the, the global model. While personalized modeling means that we create a personalized model that is based on the most specific, most important variables for this person. And uh, this person is, uh, could be of different age, uh, they, they could be of different gender and they could be of different origin, they have different ethnic origin and they will be definitely uh, different in terms of requiring treatment and requiring uh, the prediction of outcome. Looking at other applications such as brain diseases will keep Professor Kazabov and his team busy for the next 10 years. I feel privileged that uh, I have chosen this discipline which is called information science and uh, for me uh, everything is information and uh, uh, developing new methods for information processing is something that uh, is very exciting. Uh, having something new every day uh, in, in terms of developing new models, uh, developing software, uh, understanding better certain issues is absolutely fascinating and I'm, I'm lucky to, to be able to do that.